It's one of the gas industry's riskiest construction projects ever. The longest subsea pipeline in the world. Giant ships lay 100,000 pipes linking Norway to Britain. Space age robots trench an underwater moonscape beyond the reach of human hands. A project on this scale has never been done before. Will this survive the brutal North Sea? One hundred and twenty kilometers off the coast of Norway is one of the North Sea's largest underwater gas fields. It's called Orman Lang. At 40 kilometers long and 10 kilometers wide and containing over 300 billion cubic meters of gas, it's simply massive. But it's locked in an icy tomb 3,000 meters below the sea surface, so deep and so remote that it's considered beyond the reach of man and machine. That is, until the engineers at Norsk Hydro, the Norwegian energy company, decide it's just too tempting to ignore. Because there is enough gas to supply 20% of Great Britain's gas needs for 40 years. The engineers know that in Britain there's an expanding market for natural gas. The coal they have traditionally been using to power their economy is no longer sustainable. The Brits are increasingly using foreign gas to power the turbines that create the electricity for their homes and factories, and they need more of it. So the engineers have come up with a plan. It will take 10 years and cost $10 billion. First, they'll drill the Orman Lang gas deposit, transport the gas 120 kilometers to one of Norway's largest processing plants at Nihamna, then send the processed gas to the UK down the Langelet pipeline, a staggering 1,200 kilometers. But to build the world's longest subsea pipeline this far and this deep requires overcoming some not so simple problems. They're drilling nearly 2,000 meters through the seabed to tap the gas field. And they'll do this with a rig built right on the sea floor. The real fun begins with this, the Storega slide. The pipeline that brings the gas out of the field and delivers it to the plant has to scale this 300 meter underwater cliff face. And the seafloor terrain is too rough to lay pipe on, so that means trenching this monster. The gas itself is a dangerous mixture of debris and frozen water that could blow a processing plant apart. So they're adapting the system to handle the Orman Lang gas. The plant is big enough to turn through 70 million cubic meters of the stuff each day. To handle this mega job, they've amassed some of the largest industrial ships in the world, each designed to tackle a specific phase of the deep sea construction. 